Okay, Beans found an article. You got different headphones. What's up with that? I know. Sorry. Sorry about that. I'm so confused. What's the article? Three some tips. 16 things to know before entering one. I don't like to do more than 10 things. I get annoyed if there's more. So we'll see how far we get. They're short. That's what he says. Number one, don't pick a friend. Avoid bringing a friend to bed. The best person to have a threesome with is someone from another area code or on a vacation spot. <laughs> could you agree more on that I or not? Not agree more. There you go. Number two, romantic feelings. Neither partner should have any romantic feelings for the third person involved. It is just sex. Exactly. I, I, it, See it kind number of goes one. With number one, yeah. but just in case, I think that makes sense. Number three. Calm down. Drink a glass or six of alcohol <laughs> to get rid of your nervousness. <laughs> Cracker will be more on the six side. Yeah. Okay. Number four. Build the intimacy. Grab the 36 questions off the Beans on Cracker Facebook mm. page. No. no, it says when the three of you get together, don't dive into bed immediately. Spend a while sitting together, having a few drinks. Build the intimacy so the threesome doesn't end up feeling like an awkward experience with a random stranger. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would say not just, you know, hit it and quit it, but you know, have drinks, uh, make have, it fun. For have kind of a, a small, not a, a big evening type of thing, but you know, uh, talk about stuff, and then maybe some dancing, some drinking, and then some boning. There you go. That'd be good. Dancing, drinking, boning. Number five, use protection. I don't need to explain that. That's self-explanatory. That, no, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Number six, no one is left out. It is very important you focus on your partner because they should never feel left out. And that that is actually that should be number one. Okay. That is probably the most important one. That's focus true. on your partner. Make sure your partner is the one having the most fun. Like for example, let's just say I'm having a, a threesome with Cracker and Susie or Randy. There. Randy? I no, not know. Randy. No, Randy no. could be a guy or a girl. Let's let them enjoy that. Okay, let's let's go with it's a girl. So let's Randy. just say Cracker and Mindy. Randy. Mindy. Randy. Just, no, that picture a guy. No, <laughs> let's just say we're... It's, Chris. No, oh, same thing. No. <laughs> Cracker, Beans, Mindy. Randy. I have to... <laughs> son of a bitch. I have to picture... <laughs> I picture a guy when you say Randy. But with Mindy, we... <laughs> Mandy, I have to pay more attention to you, and I have to make sure that you are the one having the most fun. No, I don't give a shit about Mindy. Mindy, could, Mindy could come, or, Randy or maybe matter. not. I don't give a shit what Mindy. Mindy does. Randy. <laughs> Mindy. With Randy, I'd be doing a fucking Eiffel Tower. Mandy. <laughs> Man, no, let's, you should not. Let's compromise on Mandy. <laughs> no, you like Randy now? No, I'd rather do Mandy. I mean, if, if that's the choice, if it's Randy or Mandy, I'm going to go Mandy, but Mindy would be best. <laughs> okay. Now that we have confused the listeners, yes. let's move on. All right. So number seven, keep yourself involved. Run your hands over the other two people in bed, even if you're not directly involved or on top of someone. Don't kill the mood by appearing bored or sitting in the corner because the other two are having sex or on top of each other. There you go. I like it. And okay. by the way, Tita Wita said, kind of daydreaming with all this threesome talk. Look at that. She's a Tita Wita doesn't have to be a dream. Just come on over to the Beans on <laughs> Cracker studio. Oh, sorry. The Angry Beagle Studios. Okay. Number eight. When one partner leaves the room, stop whatever you're doing when one partner leaves the room for any reason. Oh, Don't yeah, get no. intimate with the third person. Not oh. even a kiss if one partner leaves to use the toilet. Yes, I would agree. If you know, I don't. You see don't want it. them coming back, and I you're all into it. I don't see a reason to leave, but if you have to go pee pee or something, mm-hmm. yeah, make sure that you're not. You don't come back, and you're just fucking that chick. Let's just say you go, you go pee, and I'm just like banging that chick. It's not gonna turn good for anybody. Number nine. That threesome is done. Penetration. Ooh, penetration. Yes, I like that. It's always a tricky subject, so speak about it with each other beforehand. If you're still unsure, avoid penetration unless you know your partner's completely fine with it. Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea. You should always talk ahead of time. Make sure you have rules ahead of time. Yes, we talked about this last week. Not expectations, but also rules. Yes, Yes, I agree. Number 10, don't leave love bites. Leaving hickeys on oh. a third person will piss your partner off. And if you get a love yeah. bite from a third person, that irritates your partner. Just to be safe, avoid any kind of passionate marks of love while having a threesome. Yeah, that's bad. Number 11, don't be, be selfish. Uh, maybe. A hickey? Yeah, maybe. Okay. 
Don't be selfish. Threesomes are more about giving and satisfying the other two people than satisfying yourself. Number okay. 12, permission. If you're not sure something you would do would upset your partner, don't do it. Set clear boundaries and don't forget them in the heat of the moment. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Set rules beforehand. Same thing. But do not forget those. Don't forget. I know know you may want to, but don't, don't forget those. Number 13. The third person. Giving too much attention to the third person may make your lover feel ignored. It may seem selfish, but if you care about your partner and your own oh. relationship, always make sure you give more attention to your own lover. Which is what I said before. That's true. And I think the third wheel knows that. It's always, uh, like I said, it's not about Mindy or Mandy. Randy. <laughs> no, Mindy or, or Mandy. Mandy. It's about Cracker. Okay. Number 14, staying in touch. It's always better. Oh, oh, by the way, trust me, if we're having sex with Randy, I'm not going to give attention to Randy. It's all about Mindy, Mandy, and Cracker. Randy. No, not Number Randy. Number 14, staying in touch. It's always better if the third person you bring into bed has limited contact oh. with the partner of the opposite sex. That makes sense. Yeah. So if they want to get together again, it's the girl it's the girl and should the girl arrange it. or yes, the boys yes. arranging it. It's not the boy and the girl of the opposite relationship. No, because they can hook it up on their own and that's not going to be good. Number 15, the third person should not sleep over unless the three of you share a very good bond already Mm. and don't feel threatened romantically. The third person's role here is to always ensure they never come across as a threat to the couple's relationship. Good point. And finally, number 16, the next morning, if you're involved, if you've involved someone of the opposite sex in bed, keep some distance from them after the threesome is over. Do not cuddle up with the third person (laughs) or spend more time talking to them. Let your partner know nothing's changed and you still want and desire your partner more than the third person. That happened to E on Entourage. Yes. He, He had a threesome and he woke up cuddling with the other girl. That's bad. Bad, bad, bad news. Bad news. Would you add anything to it? I don't think so. I think that's a pretty solid list. Okay. Except and, for the Randy part. Randy. And with that, Randy, it's time for <laughs> my favorite part of the show. 